date night Where we going on the late night Cool places and events Time to get it straight hype Yeah, yeah, I'm excited The kind of vibe I'm liking Going on a date tonight All of you are invited Let's go Date night Hi you guys, it's LQ from Coupled and Cultured where we focus on all things love, leisure, and lifestyle for contemporary couples and socialites who like to put the life in work-life balance. So today for date night, I'm coming to you with a really cool place that you can take your special someone. So please stay tuned so you can find out exactly where this place is and how to get there. Okay, you guys, so being that this is our very first video for our date night segment, I'm going to give you a little overview of how it's going to go, okay? So I'm going to be presenting to you a really cool place that either I've been or many of my friends or associates have vouched for is a really cool place to go on a date. I will cover five different points related to this date night spot, okay? So, um... It will be broken down into these five parts. Now I have my notes here, of course, so that I can stay on point, but you get the point with that. One, why is it a good place to go for date night? Two, can it transition into a girl's night or a solo date? Some of us may not wanna take your boo that night. Um, also, is it a temporary or is it a permanent venue? Some places that we highlight may be just for a short amount of time, um, and some places are just places that will always be there. We'll also go over, do you need tickets or reservations to attend? And finally, how do you get there? So for this week's date night segment, we will be focusing on Flippers Roller Boogie Palace. This is located in New York City. The address is actually 600 Fifth Avenue Rockefeller Center in New York, New York. So it's in the borough of Manhattan and if you live in Manhattan or in one of the boroughs, you definitely know where Rockefeller Center is. I also wanna mention um, the times that they are open. I don't think I mentioned that before. Um, for Monday through Wednesday, they're open from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. So it doesn't just have to be a date night. It can be a day date, you know, or some type of like morning date, you know, with your boo or your, your kids or whomever. Um, so Monday through Wednesday, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Thursday through Friday, 10 a.m. to midnight, Saturday, 8 a.m. to midnight, and then Sunday, 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. So within those time frames, you can go on their website, book a ticket, and then go have a good time. Now, what exactly is this? And is this place good for a date? Of course it is. So Brian and I just recently went there. We went um, this past weekend, um, and it's basically a skating date so a roller skating not ice skating but if you're into to roller skating this would be the perfect place to go with your boo so one thing that they have is like a dj on site and then they have like celebrity appearances the night before we went we heard after the fact that usher was there uh, mary j blige was there and a host of other celebrities the night that we went i believe will i am was there I didn't personally see him. I don't know if it's because we went at one of the later um, spots or slots um, and he had already gone or if he was there, I don't know. We had so much fun, I couldn't even tell you. But you don't have to bring your own skates or you can, it's your choice. You can rent skates, it comes with the ticket and um, all you do is just show up ready to skate and have a great night. Number two, can it transition into a girl's night or a solo date? Absolutely. So even though we were there, there on a date, um, we saw a bunch of groups of girls, right? Um, ladies who came together, um, our cousins, friendships, whatever. But it wasn't just people in couples, you know? So you can absolutely get all your girls together or your guys and just say, okay, let's go to Flippers Roller Boogie Palace and skate, you know? And you won't feel out of place because it, it doesn't have that overly like, couple to some feel um it was even kids there so not only could you turn it into a girl's date or even go solo but you can also take your kids as well they do have kids um size skates and they also have those little um the little white thing i guess they can be any color but the things that you can hold on to so that you don't fall i saw a lot of kids with those and i saw a lot of adults with those as well so don't fret my pet 
you can definitely turn this date night into a girls night a family night with the kids or even a solo date is it a temporary or permanent venue unfortunately it is a temporary venue but it's actually going to be in place for quite a few months. So Flippers Roller Boogie Palace will be in Rockefeller Center from April to October of 2022. So we're still in April, you guys. You have several months to really go and get your skate on, okay? So get your girls together, get your family, get your boo together, and go to Flippers Roller Boogie Palace. Whether you want to do it now, wait until the summertime when it gets warmer, or bring it up in fall as something to do, you have until October to do so. Speaking of summer, I would suggest to go when it's a little bit warmer because we were pretty cold and it's not, skating is not something you really want to do with a big coat on and being that the venue is completely outdoors, um, you will be in the elements. So you must make sure that you look out for the weather, check the weather before you um, decide to go and also try to go on a day that is a little bit warmer so it's just more enjoyable I wouldn't say go in the heat of the summer because that may not be very enjoyable as well the night that we went it was pretty cool and windy um, we had a good time I happen to have on like a bigger denim kind of you know jacket on but even still you wouldn't want to have a coat so keep that in mind will you need tickets or a reservation yes you will um I did see people showing up and purchasing tickets while they were there, um, but most people already had tickets. So I'm not sure as people hear about it more and it becomes even more popular if I would risk waiting to like buy a ticket when you get there. Um, the reason is because the tickets are spaced out in like, I think, hour increments. So you have to determine what time you want to be there because they really they give you like colored um, stickers. Um, based on the time that you get there and the DJ will be announcing like if you have the blue sticker it is your time to exit the skating ring if you you know have the purple sticker so um, I wouldn't risk going without a ticket because they could end up saying that they're at capacity and then you miss you went all that way and you miss out in order to get a ticket um, you can go on their website so you can go to flippers.world and you can actually buy a ticket online. You choose the time, the hour, in hour increments, the time that you would like to go. You purchase your tickets and then you download them basically or take a screenshot. They have like a QR code. When you get there, you just go down um, into the skating area and they have a line where you go. You show the security guard he's, your ticket. He scans it, lets you in, and that's when you go in and you get your skates. Once you get your skates, you can kind of mosey on into like a locker area where you're able to lock up your things and put your skates on and go about your business. I wouldn't suggest bringing valuables um, that you don't necessarily need. So I brought, I had like a strap purse on that I kept on me. I wouldn't trust leaving my purse in the lockers, um, even though they do lock. But it was very confusing, in my opinion. You have to... Find an empty locker, put your things in, they reset it and you come up with a four digit code. But even though I put a four digit code, it like it didn't really work. So we had to get the girl to unlock it for us, which everyone was doing. And at this point, she was just trusting people to say, yes, this is my stuff. Yes, this is my stuff. So I wouldn't suggest bringing things of high value that you would want to lock up if you don't necessarily have to. The address, once again, is 600 Fifth Avenue, Rockefeller Center, New York, New York. So what are some ways that you can get there? Well, definitely you have to be in New York City unless you plan on flying a plane to get there. But you can reach it from either borough. Um, as I pull it up, um, I'm in Queens, so it's going to give me directions from Queens. But as I pull it up, like if you're taking public transportation, it looks like you can access it through the F train. Um... Well, the E train seems to be closer. Once you get off the E train, it's like a six minute walk. Um, you can get lift it or Uber it if you want. If you're driving in, um, you definitely we did that and we didn't have any problems. We actually was able to park and meter parking because the part around there is really like a lot of that is commercial parking. Tons of signs. You have to be very careful with parking down there. So if you don't have to drive, I wouldn't suggest it. But if you do, you just got to make sure you read the signs. I would hate for you guys to be sending me messages saying you got towed because of those confusing signs. The polls have like 16 different signs on them. I'm exaggerating, but you know. 
anyway so we went late so we were able to get like meter parking because i think it cuts off at midnight so we were i think we paid like 11 dollars um our our um session was booked for 10 so we got there maybe at like um 9 30 i suppose so we paid from like 9 30 to midnight it didn't cost very much but you can definitely drive in and take advantage of meter parking you can take the train like i said i'm seeing the e train f train um and just depending on where you're coming from i would just put in the address and google map it to see what would be the best way to get there so um Flippers Roller Boogie Palace. We went there, like I said, this past weekend. We had an amazing time, you guys. I must say, it was pretty late when we when we finished. It was um, after 11, and we were still able to walk around down there and find a place to go get some food because we were starving. Um, so it's a really cool place and a really cool location because you still have access to public transportation and restaurants that are open late. We even were able to walk to Times Square and take like a nostalgic walk through Times Square. I haven't been there in so long. So you can even stretch the date out and make it like this whole day of like just exploring that part of New York City, you know, that part of Manhattan. Um, but in the meantime, I would like for you guys to comment below and tell me, would you go to Flipper's Roller Boogie Palace? Would you take your man there or your lady? Would you take your kids there? Would you take your sisters or your girls there? Or would you go solo, you know, make it a solo day? I will say in my single days, I went out a lot solo and I had some of the best times and created so many amazing memories just going on solo dates and even met a bunch of cool people in the interim. So let me know, are you guys interested in going? Did you like to hear some of the things that we experienced or see some of the footage of how we enjoyed ourselves? Let me know. And if you do go, comment below and tell me how it went for you guys. I must say, and this is a disclaimer, I am not affiliated in any way with Flippers Roller Boogie Palace. I'm not affiliated with any of the places that I present in our date night segments. These are just places that I have either went um, with my man or with my friends or even alone or places that I've heard of that are cool places to go. So I'm not getting any kickbacks for these recommendations. It's just me trying to share out some cool date night suggestions. So I hope that you guys take advantage and have a great time. Okay, you guys, so that's it for our date night suggestion for this week. I hope that you guys enjoy the spotlight of Flipper's Boogie Palace, and I hope that you guys go out and have a great time. Next time you hear from me, I'll have another great place to, su to suggest, to suggest to you, and I hope that you guys enjoy yourself. The next time you hear from me, I'll have another great place to suggest to you guys. And I hope that you are able to use this. Listen, summertime is coming. We're going to be running around in this good weather. Let's take advantage of it and have some dynamic, amazing date nights. All right, you guys. See you later. Ciao. Date night. Where we going on the late night? Cool places and events. Time to get it straight hype.